everybody. What's up? Hey, man. Hey. So, look. We missed last week because of travel and work and travel and work. And then but, travel. And, and travel. And listen, I don't want to pretend like I don't look high. I feel like that would be disingenuous. Yep. And those of you listening, don't worry about it. Those of you watching, I look high. How about that? Those yeah. watching, also don't worry about it. No, I mean, nobody's worried about it. I, I, by the way, I think I always look at the wrong <clears throat> side of the camera. This is the camera. That's the camera. This is your face. That's why I always look over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's fine if you're looking at your face. Like, I'm doing it right now, but, like, this is camera. So sometimes I just stare stare at the door. What do most people look at? They look at their own face? I don't know. I kind of switch. Like, I kind of I kind of rotate between camera and, like, my face, but also down the middle. I should probably stop pointing towards camera a lot. Well, I mean... I'm yeah. trying to, like, John Madden this for him, everybody. I'm just trying to, like, Well, but things. now I think I'm just going to look at your face. That's fine, because it still looks like you're looking at camera. Does okay, okay. So when I'm looking at your face, which you are now, it looks like you're looking dead at camera. How can you tell I'm looking at your face right now? Because I'm looking into the camera from my angle and looking at you staring at me. It's like a rearview mirror kind of. Are you sure. looking at me? Yeah. Right now, so you're you, not looking at you. You're no, looking, looking at me. At you. Yeah. yeah. It's like it's like a rearview mirror kind of shit. But now, if we look at ourselves real quick, I see me, you see you, and you're in my peripheral. Yep, that's how it's going. Wow, I didn't think I needed to explain how a camera worked. Well, no, 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 no. Not, but like, I guess, and I'm, I guess, I never thought of this before. <laughs> ready? I never thought that you could. I guess because I've never, th literally, never thought of it. The thought has never gone in my head. Are you sure you never thought about it once? That while I'm looking at you on the camera, you know that I'm looking at you because you're looking at me, and you can see what I'm looking at. But I had never thought of that before. I know that sounds real high. Yeah, it does. Does it make sense? No, I mean, I just explained it to you that way. So yeah, it makes sense to me. But the question is, does it make sense to you? Well, of course it does. I just said that. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Because it seemed like you went through a little bit of a struggle there trying to adjust. No, 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 no. I was just trying to make sure it made sense. But I still don't know if it does. Yeah. Does it? Send in a, send in a, send in a, send in a, <laughs> hey man with three A's. Hey, hey, listen, first of all, don't kick the stand. Sorry about kicking the stand. It's usually me and Sin this time. Um, don't touch it. It'll stop. It'll stop. <laughs> don't touch it. Uh, <clears throat> so first of all, we got your emails. The next podcast we're doing, we will be answering your emails. Remember, if you want to send an email and ask a question, it's, I think, hey man pod. With three A's. At, yeah. At gmail.com. That's right. Yep. Hey man pod with three A's at gmail.com. No exclamation point. No, no exclamation point. Right. Do I ask that every time? I was just going to say that. Yes. <clears throat> you do indeed ask that every time. By the way, you know what I really decided I liked after I bought this is, you know, all of my hoodies have hoods. This one is called a, hoodies. Yeah. And this is like a crew neck. Yeah. Or I, just a sweater. It's not a sweater. I mean, it's like sweater tight. But it's it's not a like sweatshirt. A... It's a crew neck. Crew necks aren't like full on like. This is sweatshirt material. I mean, yeah. It's like a, it's like a sweater. It's not a sweater. But sweaters can be thought of as different things. I'm not thinking of like your winter like sweater or like like a like one that's like a. No, this sweater. is not a sweater. This is a sweatshirt. It could be a sweater. It could not be. Could be. No. It could also be a crew neck. It is a crew neck. It's a crew neck sweatshirt. But there's also crew neck sweaters. I actually have one. In my yeah, bag. you're wearing it. No. <laughs> oh, he's doing <laughs> He's doing this just to bother me. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do it so much more now. You know what's crazy? I picked up on it so fast. Here's what's great about Jakey. Watch your foot. I didn't do it. You're like right next to Here's me. what's great about Jakey. <clears throat> is that... He's one of a very few people that can get me in a game like that. That's right. I, because I know I know not to do that. Mm -hmm. I know better because that's how I drive people crazy. Yeah. And now he's one of the very few people that knows how to do it to me. Oh yeah, I hate it. It's great. 
It's awesome. <laughs> I love it. I see why you do it now. Because it's you fun. Are, you're the only person I do it to. Really? Yeah, 100%. That is awesome. <laughs> 100%. 100% you're the only person I do this. That's with. fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, why? I figured I'd just practice on practice on the master, and if I can do it there, then I don't need to do it on anybody else. Yeah. You got me like three times in a row. Yep. With the same one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <sighs> just keep saying sweater <laughs> in just different ways. Worked yeah. out. Yeah. yeah Worked yeah, out yeah, well. Yeah, it's a was... pretty simple, you know, it's pretty simple when you think about it. It's yeah. really easy you to do. You just got to start repeating stuff until they eventually stop or say something because like eventually they'll just be like all right whatever and walk right, away right so but like the more you the more you get them to argue with it is when it gets better you you just have to get like if as soon as he states a fact or something that that's true or whatever like hey man it's three a's or two you just say it and they're gonna and he'll be like no three two hey. so you just it's just it's just a back and forth it's just annoying for about 10 seconds to the other person. They're like fucking... Until they, yeah, until they figure out that you're fucking with them. And then it's funny to both of you. And then it's over. Yeah. It's I don't good. know why I like it so much. And I also don't know why it looks like I have a mustache. You do have a... What do you mean? Well, it looks like I'm growing a mustache and not the... Like the mustache looks way darker. It... Doesn't it? It definitely does. Even Well, even looking at you, it definitely is. It is strangely dark right in the middle. Yeah, and it look just like right now, just like tonight. So is your soul patch. So, yeah. It is also. Yeah, they're both alarmingly dark. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of weird. It really is bizarre. It's interesting. Uh, it's an interesting little spot for the night. Yeah, I, I hadn't really, know what's I hadn't really noticed that. With that. Too much makeup in one spot? Yeah, I smear my makeup all the way on in here. You know that's not what I'm talking about. Um, <clears throat> so what's up, man? Not much, dude. What's up with you? Not much. We're here. Uh, we're here in my apartment uh, in LA. Here in town for like what? Eighteen hours? You leave in like 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 five hours? I think I landed at twelve thirty, and I'm leaving at twelve. So you're in LA for literally twelve hours. Yeah. Jeez. And then I'm flying to Baltimore. Baltimore. That's right. All right. Can I have some crowd while you're out there. Uh, fuck yeah! I, I saw Sickler today. He told me a great place to go. Yeah, that's what I was gonna ask. Jimmy's something. Yeah, it's the one he posts about. He posts about it every time he goes back. He does. Oh, that's right. That's right. It and looks he, really good. And he plays there too. Yeah, it looks. But really he said good. the food is fantastic. It looks delicious. I was talking about a crawfish boil all today with people. Evan, one of my best friends named Evan, he has a shellfish allergy. So he, but he's never had like lobster or crawfish or crab or anything. He's not so, missing anything by not having crawfish. Disagree. It's, the juice is not worth the squeeze. It, you eat that giant, you just ate 37 pounds of crawfish and you're like, I'm hungry. When's food coming? Are you? Because with the potatoes and the corn, I'm not really that hungry after the crawfish boil. I just can't. It's just too... It's not enough... Well, you also don't drink. Drinking no. helps. Yeah. It's not enough in the crawfish, you know? I, I think it's great. First of all, you also, like, when it's crawfish season, and those things are fucking gigantic. Like, every time I've gotten them, like, it's been a good size, but, like, I've never gotten, like, during crawfish season and gotten, do, like, a really, like... Do you go anywhere here to get it? No, there's a couple places that I heard aren't bad. I heard a crazy... Crazy Crawfish? Crazy Boil? That place on Santa Monica? Uh, or the Target and the Best Buy is? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With the fucking crap. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, it's like Crazy Crawfish or something like that. Yeah. I hear that place actually is surprisingly good. Really? Uh, yeah, I heard the boiling crab is also delicious. That's that place out in uh, Sherman Oaks? Yeah, uh, and I think Burbank? There's one down here, too. I think there's one in Burbank also near the, near the Ikea. And then the... Uh, German, the new Ikea? The... It's like downtown Burbank, like that right. little strip, like next right. to the Nordstrom. Nordstrom, I think you're right. Nordstrom, um, and then there's uh, the Drunken Crowd, which is fire. That was my nickname in high school. It's unfortunate because I Drunken Crab. Yep, he was crazy. That there are no crabs anymore. Is that a thing? Yeah, because so many people shave their pubes. There's no crabs. Nice. Yeah, that's a crazy thing. 
Nice. Right? That's good, I guess. I mean, the more you know, right? <laughs> Listen, I'm never, never say that this show isn't educational. How was Coachella? It was great. It was a good time. We had some fun. Um, it was well, hot as shit. What was the best? Who was the best band at Coachella? Um, I think the most fun I had at a set was either Corday, who's a rapper who was awesome, and he mm -hmm. brought out Anderson Pack for his final song. And uh, really, yeah, it was awesome. He might be the <clears throat> coolest dude on the planet. He's pretty awesome. He's he's a piece. He's, he's pretty cool. He might be the coolest dude on the planet. It might be possible. It, it's very true. Um, and then the second, I think my second favorite set was uh, a set called Emo Night. So it's like a group of guys, but they're not really DJs and they're not musicians. They just like to throw parties. So, but they're, so they go and just play all these like past, like little emo songs, like, like, like Panic at the Disco, like, N like do a song, but don't do too many notes in a row because then we won't be able to air this. Um, it, it's like a... What song? What I would know of Panic at the Disco. That, that... Uh, bam. Bam, 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 bam. What? You know that one? No, there's a... Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, that one. That one. Yeah. Um, and then... I, I think I sang it just bad enough. Yeah, but but I got it. And then there's a... Yeah, so they did a couple of those. Um, but then they also do like EDM remixes to like those songs. So it's just like a big... It's just like a big tent full of energy and, and fun. And but they did bring out probably the best guest of the weekend. Better than Anderson Pack? Uh, I don't know. They brought out three really, really good guests, and they just hit from my like hit from my childhood. Okay. So they brought out a band called Three Hundred Three. Um, I don't think you remember them, but they were alive in my middle school career for about sixth and seventh grade, and then they just vanished off the like the face of the earth. Did you just say middle school career? Yeah, career. What was career? Sixth through eighth grade. That's part of my career. My life is a career also, you know what I'm saying? Like I got I'm trying to get to a hundred years in career mode. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Level a hundred, baby. You heard it. <clears throat> yeah, you know, it's career. Yeah. Okay. Um, middle school years. Yeah. They're there from sixth to seventh grade and then vanished off the face of the earth. Give me a song. You I Their biggest song. The one they did was uh Oh shit! Uh. Oh yeah, yeah, I know that one. I know that. Do one. you? Yeah. So they did that, and that was cool. They came out and literally did that song, and then walked off stage because they had like two hits. That was it. Yeah, I mean, but <clears> do them. <throat> do everything. Yeah. So he did. Hear. He did the one, um, and then he, they went away, and then about three songs later, they brought out Jacoby from Papa Roach. Okay. And did Last Resort. Good one. Which was pretty awesome. Good one. And then about. 20 minutes later, they brought out Tom from the Plain White Tees. Hey, hey there, Delilah. And we all sang, hey there, Delilah. Now, let me ask you something. You know, do you want to put that over here because it'll be closer? I'm about to finish it. Well, I'm probably going to need some soon, too, so. <sighs> um, what was I going to say? So that was cool. Uh, we were talking about Coachella. Oh. What, rank this Coachella musically. Oh, yo, I don't know. It, it might be last. It might be last. I'm not going to lie. Like, also for the sake of, there were two performers who I was really excited to see, and they were back-to-back -back on Saturday. One was Disclosure. Yeah. I don't think you know who that is. I don't. And the other one is Flume, who I also don't think you know who that is. I don't. Who he is. But so, I was really excited for them, because they have some really good music, and just like some really good, like, vibe music, and uh, both of their sets were trash. Get the fuck out of here. It was so fucking bad. Really? They, they were so fucking bad. The flume set honestly was kind of depressing. I was, really? I was really bummed out. Why? They just weren't good performers? Well, so flume is one guy, but his music is techno. Or like, uh -huh. not, not like techno, but like... But you like his music. He makes... I'll play you some after. Like, after we do this podcast. Like, his music is really... Gotta be honest, since we're talking about it, really fun to smoke weed too. Yeah. Like, and I was like, yo, these visuals are about to be great. Like, the lights. Like, this is gonna be... A really awesome production, and I'm really excited. Production-wise, awesome. Visuals, yeah. Performance songs that he played, I knew four songs. And I know a lot of Flume songs. And he played four songs that I knew in a span of about 20 minutes. And then the rest of it was just, it was almost like he went from, like, what he usually does and just started playing house music, which was the... <laughs> so he He's wasn't playing his hits? He played three of his newer hits instead of going back to, like, 
a 2014 album Got that has it. so many good so songs. Let me on. ask you a question. <clears throat> and he did some new stuff, but his new stuff was not good. Let me ask you a question. Then the but the people who were fan of that music were happier that he did that. No, oh, I mean like yeah, but when you're going to see Flume, it's not really what you're expecting. You're expecting the old some jams. Oh, oh, you're just expecting like to to vibe out because he doesn't make radio hits on purpose, but he makes radio hits. Like, Got he it. makes songs that are on the radio. On like most pop stations, okay, because they're just good songs, okay. Um, and his fucking after the first twenty minutes, his sub was fucking. What's the most? I, and I'll tell you booty. what mine is after. Yeah, I think you know the answer for mine. But what's the most disappointed you've ever been in a concert? Outside of Astro World. <laughs> Damn, I was gonna say that. Um, most disappointed I've ever been in a concert. I don't know, man. I, I I would like to say I feel like I've been pretty lucky at concerts. Right. I mean, at, at, a, at a performance. Up. At a performance. So this flume. I, I mean, like. I know what mine is. I know what yours is, too. Old cello. Oh, Bob Dylan. <laughs> Bob Dylan. That fucking guy. Yeah. I remember, I remember you coming home and saying that. And you were like, dude, what the fuck? And I was like, whoa, what's with the hostility, man? <laughs> Welcome home. And you were like, Bob Dylan sucks. <laughs> I was like, what? He didn't play what any. Do you mean? He didn't play any of his hits. Not one hit ski. Yeah, that's a bummer. That's a bummer. I understand that. Yeah. But yeah, I, you know, I, I I would say my my concert track record is pretty good. Pretty good, except Astro. Yeah. So if you had a dream lineup, like you were gonna set a festival, three headliners, alive or dead. Ooh, alive I'll, or dead? I'll give you. I'll give you. We'll do it like Ocella did, which was three nights, two bands a night. Three nights, two bands a night. Yeah. All right. You want me to start? Start. We'll start with Friday. So start with Friday. Give you two. Shit. Well, I just want to list the bands first, and then I'll try to arrange them. Nope. I'm not doing it like that. Spot it. What? Spot it. On the spot. Okay. Well, then I go Hendrix opens because he's got to play the Star Spangled Banner. Okay. Like that. I like that. And then I think the Beatles have to. Oh, that's an interesting a, day. I like that. And the Beatles are, it's 1970 Beatles. So it's the whole, whatever, whatever they want to play. It's a strong start to your weekend. Yeah, man. Um, That's Friday night. I, I would probably go because I never got to see him live, and he unfortunately died at the age of twenty. And I would have loved to have seen him live. Pop Smoke was a rapper. Okay, um, was okay, a rapper. Okay. Um, and then I'm not gonna have that difference in a music on that night. I would probably put J Cole there. And just or or in all honesty, no, nah, actually, no, yeah, I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna keep J Cole there. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go pop smoke and get cool. I, so I'm going to go Saturday night, and I'm going to go the Beastie Boys and Biggie. Okay. On Saturday, I'm going to do, ooh, I'm leaving out a band that, that is going to hurt my feelings. I'm, I'm doing Saturday as My Chemical Romance and Rage. Oh, I'm leaving out two bands that are in <laughs> And I was supposed to see Rage this year. Me and too. Some, for some reason, they got dropped from the oh, Coachella line. Dude, I'm so fucking bummed out. Rage is the... Since Tom Petty <clears throat> passed before I got to see him, Rage is the band where I am willing to pay more than I should pay for a ticket to go... I'm not missing. And I want them while there's still some Rage. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. You want I'm, to... I'm so bummed I didn't get to see them. Well, I feel, like, I, feel like, I feel like it was my only chance. No, they'll play. They'll play again. We got to go. 100%. We got to go. Okay, you want my Sunday go. night? Yep. Michael Jackson and Prince. Oh, that's a strong Sunday. Now, I feel what, bad that I... Can, who, who are okay, the two you're leaving out? Zepp, Zeppelin. And Rage. Yeah, but Rage... Zeppelin. Like, prime Zeppelin. Okay. James Brown, prime James Brown, 
And like if I had two alternates, it would be James Brown and Led Zeppelin. You know, yeah. and you know what's crazy? Mm. I think I left out most '90s bands. I left out Pearl Jam and Nirvana and, yeah. and Nirvana. That was my that that that's what I. So you raised me on. But dude, that's what all I listened to for. But I don't. We think... We do listen to a lot of oh Nirvana. My God. We listen to a lot of Smells Like Teen Spirit. You listen to a lot of Pearl Jam, Soundgarden, Alice in Chains. Um, you listen to some live, you listen to a lot of 90s Bon Jovi. You did, dude. So much Bon Jovi. Oh, man, you know all the words. Bon Jovi. <laughs> <laughs> Those are all the words. Um, I've told that story, but I, yeah. I think I think I go Prince Michael Jackson. But bummed that I'm leaving off James Brown and Led Zeppelin. But, and by the way, this is my festival, right? So these aren't necessarily my top six artists. I'm trying to vary up my festival. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so we got to hear Hendrix play live. And to watch the Beatles play to me would be just the in like when they hated each other, Beatles, <laughs> because they have the whole catalog. But then to go with, you know, Biggie, but I would love to see but you put the piece was in there. Yeah. Um, I don't know who I would do Sunday. That's a rough one. Um, I'm trying to think also to give it a little diversity. Well, you do have it. Like you went hip hop and then you went kind of rock. Rock. So now all I can think of is like you like, like hip hop like though. R and B set. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And how deep do you go? You, like no. Oh. Oh, well. What's that? No, I would only be saying this name to like make sure I craft like the perfect music festival, but I don't listen to a lot of her music. Well, I mean, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but still, would be a performance that I would definitely go see. Would probably be Whitney. Whitney Houston. Yeah, I mean, you'd have to go watch Whitney Houston. Like if she fucks. Do you know what I'm saying? Like. I mean, I'm bummed I left out Miley Cyrus, too. So. I really thought she was going to be the replacement. But I oh, my Billy my instead. God. I skipped Billy set. You did? <laughs> Completely. Um, who's the other one besides Whitney? And, uh... Oh, I can't do that. <laughs> just fucking, you just see the video go out. Who, who would be your other one? I feel like I got to put Kendrick in there, too. I mean, you really got to put the people that you. I I I I would put Kendrick again. Like I would I would definitely see him perform again. Also, with the new fucking album coming out on the thirteenth, we waited six years for this. I'm super excited. Yo, so excited! Ah, I'm, I'm excited for us to go to see Greta Van Fleet. Oh, in November, it's gonna be awesome. I mean, we're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to slowly drip rock and roll back into your skull. She already has. Has she? Yeah. We listen to Greta more than we listen to anything else right now. Yo, Greta Van Fleet. She also puts on Fleetwood all the time. Really? Yeah. Dude, she's got really good music taste. Do you listen to Fleetwood Mac? I listen to it with her. Yeah. Usually when I get in the car, like I play my, I just play my music that's in my shuffle. Right. But sometimes, like, I'll listen to Greta in the, in the car by myself, like if I'm driving around. But, uh, but she, she, I, I usually just hand her the the phone. And I'm like, just, just play. She, she's a good DJ? Really good DJ. That's she's good. good for road trips. You know, your mom and I got remarried last night. Was that yes. last night? No. Yeah, that yeah. was last night. No. Jesus. Yeah, last night. Oh, no, yeah, because it wasn't on your anniversary. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was at doing my show in Nashville. By the way, if you live near Nashville and you haven't come to see one of these shows, ooh, you missing out. These shows are fucking crazy. <laughs> By the way, the shows in general on the road, I have to thank everybody. Tons of sold out shows. The energy in the room has been phenomenal. You guys are the best. And I, I do want to say something that's important for me to say. Super humbling to hear your stories and to hear that's that that my silly dick jokes somehow make a difference 
This is really humbling. So thank you all so much for telling me all your stories. They really mean a lot. I really appreciate it. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll add to that. I've been getting a lot of messages recently saying that our relationship has held people yeah. out of some dark places. And, and it's, it's really awesome to hear that Crazy. we provide a sense of comfort for people. But I also want to say um, shout out to the very few uh, people on the road um, who I've just been – people have just been calling me out in public. Hey, are you – Hey, and by the way, are you, are you are you Jacob Wolf? And I'm like, yeah, what's up? Like, I, you know, I, I got recognized at Coachella. It's twice. I, it, here's what's it's really, crazy. Here's what is what feels good, guys. And I know some people say, "Hey, didn't want to bother you." It's never a bother. No, oh, by the way, never bother. It's humbling again. Humbling. To think that you somehow affect somebody else's life. This lighting changes. And so, like, never, you should never always feel like you can walk up to me. Yeah, and me. And shout out to the dude who I took a picture with at Coachella. Um, and the other dude, I think his name was Nathan. We ended up shotgunning a beer together. So, shout out, Nathan. <laughs> um, <laughs> but also, when we drove to Zion, like up to Utah and back for Ramon's birthday, Every city we stopped, I got noticed. Like the cashier or somebody in line with me. It was crazy. Like it's it's a whole lot of love, which has been really awesome. Like it's crazy. Yeah. It's been if really you, cool. You guys really have cool. been absolutely incredibly kind. So Yeah. 100%. Now last night when your mom I shrunk in this chair, did you see me? Oh yeah, you started to Did it get down. darker? That's what I'm saying, is because I think that hold on. Sorry guys. It's okay, we can still use this. We're just, you know, doing technical things at the same time. Oh, that's better. I know. Yeah. So keep talking, I'm gonna get you a water. The the we went to the Elvis chapel to get married, right? Right. And we got married by Elvis, right? Right. And he, you know, he goes repeat after me. <laughs> you know? And so I we repeat after her. And he um He did, uh, he went, uh, 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 I do, right? Right. And, so, and he did a couple of the, uh, uh, and so the, the guy who was, you know, Rachel Michael over this. Yep. And I just said, I, 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 I do. And Michael afterwards was like, and it happened a couple times. Michael was like, did he have a stutter? And I was like, oh, no. I go, I don't think. I go, <laughs> did he? And he was like, he kept going, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. And I was like, I, I, guess, I guess I thought it was part of the bit. And he was like, I don't know. So I was just repeating the ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. Did you ever find out? No, because he asked me afterwards. But I thought it was part of the bit. And and he was a good dude. We, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I don't. I hope you tipped, tipped him a little extra yeah. after, just in case you didn't. We gave him a hundred bucks. Yeah, that's a pretty good. Tip. I really wasn't mocking him though. No, I, I I know you're not. After you told the story, and Michael knows you're not, but I don't know if he knows you're not. I think he does because we all had a good time, and he had some great jokes. And you know, this dude, I asked him. I go, I asked the woman out who took our pictures. I said. um... How, what's the money, the most weddings you've done today? She said 65. 60 fucking five. How late are they open? I don't know, but they're 15 minutes. You got to get in, you got to get the fuck out. He does his little ceremony. He does his song. A little hip, little hip swivel. A hip swivel. You Love do a couple dances. Love it. And then uh, it's out. And then yeah. you're done. And he does a bunch of jokes. He's funny. That little Elvis Chapel white, I forget what it was called. Elvis Chapel. Let's go with that. Yeah. But I think there's two of them. But this dude was fantastic. And 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 we had a good time, man. And I had, you know... Oh, I was wondering what that was. I had that... What? That pink and black suit jacket. I know. You didn't wear the matching pants. I want to hear a vote. Also send this in an email. Would you have liked him... Go to the picture on Instagram and see him in the jacket that he's wearing. Would you have liked to have seen the whole suit with matching pants, no. or did he make the right move? 
I vote he should have worn the pants because your mom and I both were like, nah, it's too much. We'll let the people decide that. Well, the most important person already did decide. We'll let the people decide that. Okay. We were, we, and I don't think we're done renewing our vows. I think we're going to do it more. You know we're going to do it. Probably. We're going to do it next, uh, on our 20th. Definitely. 25, 30, <laughs> yeah. 40. Oh, yeah, it's going to be. Yeah. 50. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going to happen for a good long time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah, yeah. I think, here's what I think. Oh, yeah. I think it'll happen until people stop showing up. Which... I guess we'll find out. And then she and I will just celebrate. And it's super, by the way, I had a great time yesterday. I bet. It I really like I had a fun. great fucking time. We really had a good time, man. And you know, it's fun to get a little silly every now and then. Did you have a drink? Um, I had, I had like sips of some people's drinks. Because, you know, we had some champagne, so I wanted it to be festive. And right, right, right. And then um, this one place we went to made us a couple of the specialty drinks. Right. Someone that Michael knew. Right. And one was this tequila with grapefruit. Nope. I already heard it. And <laughs> <laughs> you said grapefruit. Ruined it. <laughs> Ruined it. It was actually really good. And the other one was, had like a... <laughs> I could barely fit the straw. It had like a, a umbrella and a... A swizzle and a fucking but you put the straw in there and it was like Midori and rum I'm not a big rum guy eh, I just either. I'm not a big rum guy but this was tasty the, this place was oh it was called um oh, <laughs> stop it was called Gatsby's <laughs> in Resort World in Vegas Got Yo, it. we're gonna start going out man are you yeah why not Okay. Uh, what else are we going to do? I don't know. Mom and I are going to go out when we're, when we're in Vegas. You are? Oh, yeah. Going to go gamble and win back all that money we lost last time. Your mom time. won a grip of change today and yesterday. How much? Oh, well, we can talk about that later. If Not that much. But craps? Again? Craps, yeah. She always fucking wins on craps. Yo, you know, she's so lucky. And like yesterday, this dude, and when she, okay, when she walks up to the table and I let her, I don't let her, I shouldn't say that. I'm like, you should go by yourself. Because you alone, really lucky. But when I step up and stand next to you, it all goes to shit. <laughs> and it's, it, I watch, you know, your mom's good looking. Yeah. And. She brings people to the table. Yeah. She fills the table. Yeah, she does. She does. And they love her. And then she wins some money and she walks away. She's really good at just walking away. And then everybody loses their money on the table because the good luck walked off. I, I, I mean, she's pretty lucky, man. It, 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 obviously, nothing's 100%, but she wins more often than not at craps. I will tell you. I have no idea how to play. Oh, it's fun, man. I like it because it's communal. You know, blackjack to me is just a little boring. I like to scream and yay and high five and laugh. And I like blackjack when it's a table of your people. Sure. But that when you get every seat, that's great. Yeah. When you get every seat, that is great. Mm -hmm. I remember going once with Chelsea to Vegas. And um, she was sitting at the table. And we got our own little private table. And she was, you know, we were drinking and laughing and I was just fucking, and she was not paying attention and like, just like, yep, yeah, whatever. And she just kept winning. Just kept fucking winning. Hate it. And I was like, this is, she was like, you care too much. You care too much. Just let it flow. It's going to come, it's going to go. And I was like, okay. And she goes, plus. You can't, no matter how good of a player you are, you're not going to win any money betting $5 a hand. you got to bet some fucking money. And I was like, yeah, because I was, yeah, but also she has money. Now, I agree with you, but I was playing not to lose. 
You can't win if you play not to lose. Not in Vegas. No. It just depends on what your idea of winning is. But for me, I want I am a man of extremes. I don't I don't like to win a little. I I then I'm just gonna like fuck it. Let's let's win a lot. Yeah. Or not. Which is why I don't gamble. Unless I go with your mom. And that's why I stand behind her and she doesn't let me stand next to her. Good system. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Plus, I like to sit down on the slots. Yeah, me too. That's what Iman and I play. They're way more fun. I, I, I like it just because... I like looking at the screen. Yeah. It's fun. I'm usually high in the casino. So I just like sitting there. It's casual. Yeah. Yeah. It's way um, better. I, but no, when... I'm feeling lucky and I'm at the table, like craps table, it's fun. I don't like roulette. It's too quick. Um also, it, also that's a rich man's game. Is it? It's I think it's a dumb person's game. No, because if you go up with a bunch of money, because like you can place when I watch like right, you can place it on like four corners. Like if you place like a hundred dollars on four corners where four Wait, four numbers yeah. meet. Right, so like there's a box right here. Yeah, right? no, I'm with that. And there's four boxes in it with four numbers. So if you place money on where the four corners meet, it divides your money into four and puts it on four different numbers. No, I'm with that. So that so people just place it on different sides. But I think it's the worst. Now hold on. Odds. I think it's the either the worst or the best. I can't remember which. If one. If you hit the number. No, 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 not the odds, but with the winnings. Oh. The odds of winning. Oh. I forget well, if it's the best or the worst. I think it's the best because you have a, you have a, practically a fifty percent chance if you bet red or black. Right. It's a fifty-fifty shot. Pretty much. I, it's like a maybe like a forty-nine percent shot think, because there's right. green. Because, because the green double zeros. Yeah. Oh, also by the way, McKay and I, when we were there last and we were we drove back to Vegas from Nashville. Yeah. We were in a casino and I was sitting next to one of those electronic roulette things. Yeah. And I was sitting there, and one ball just rolled, and I looked at a hundred dollar bill, and I was like, "Did you put it in there?" Nope. And I was like, "Nah, I'd rather do the real one." And I was like, "Double green zeros, though." Double green zeros. Really? I swear to God. Swear to God. I wonder what the odds would have been on that. 40, 40 to one. So had I put a hundred in, I'd have won four thousand. Which is, what's the most you've ever walked out of a casino with? Nine hundred dollars. Really? <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> it, was, it was also that same trip, actually. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm like nine hundred dollars. Get the fuck out uh, of yeah. here. Yeah. All in about like the span of like an hour. <laughs> what? <laughs> on slots? <laughs> All on slots. All on fucking slots. Did you stick and move, or did you stay on the same one? Uh I stuck on one. What? For a cool no 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 not one the whole time. I stuck on one for a cool minute. We did the Game of Thrones one. Uh the Game of Thrones one cashed out a little bit. Took the Game of Thrones one to the Ghostbusters one, the four D one I was telling you about, which uh -huh. is no longer there in the Bellagio. Rude. Very upset about that. Turn that hundred into like or turn that like turn that like hundred and hundred and fifty to like three hundred dollars. And then I took that $300 and put it in my back pocket and took out another $100 bill that I had. And I went up to this other machine and literally uh, I put the 100 in. And on the first roll, I won $450. And I was like, whoa. And like I hit some like crazy triple wild bonus and I won like a like $100 off the roll. But then it took me into like an extra spins thing. And I won a lot of money there. And I was like, just kind of baffled and I was like that okay sure and then I sat at that one for like another 15 minutes because I had so much money on it and I with little wins little wins and then eventually about 20 minutes later I hit the I hit the the extra spins or game or whatever and I won like another three bucks holy shit dude I just walked out with like 900 bones that's so like, it was like it was like it was like a 700 profit but I walked out with like 900 bucks that's unbelievable the first time I was in Vegas and that Lord of the Rings machine I won 400 bucks on our first night there. We, I mean... We went to Club Tao that night, thanks to you. This dude... But last time we were there, I'm on took a bath. Took it. Hell. Not this time. I I think the most I've ever won on a slot machine, that one pull, I won that $950 a couple weeks ago. Pretty good. Dude, I, w I pulled it, 
And then, you know, it, something came up and I was like, oh, that looks good. And then the, the number just kept going. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, is this? I just kept looking around like, is this? So ready? So you know what I figured out as well? When the money starts, like when you see it start counting on the screen, the faster it counts, the bigger your number is going to be. So if you just see it go from like zero to a hundred dollars and like, like, like a second or two, yeah. it means your total is going to be fucking massive. Is that true? Yes. hundred percent. I figured that out when I also won the $400. I was like, oh, that money's counting way faster. I was like, cool. I don't think the most I've ever won at a craps table. I, I don't. Not that much. Sorry. <laughs> Probably not that much. I gotta figure out how to lock those. I don't think I can. I I, I mean, that was real. I would have done that for the rest of the show. I know, I know, I know. I had to make sure you didn't ruin the audio. Holy moly. Because I don't think you even noticed that you were doing it. How many it. times did I do it? Ooh, about 12. No, I didn't. We'll go back to the replay, though, later. <laughs> did I do it 12 times? At about, right before 41 minutes. We'll go back and we'll check it out. Yeah, you did it a couple times. Yeah, maybe we'll just cut that part out. No, 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 no. No. Why not? Because you're going to cut out the whole point, part of us just talking about it right now, just to have just a big gap and just story. No. When have you ever cut something out? Never. Exactly. Never. It, yeah, never. Yep. Never. Dude, the show, by the way, um, the show's in Austin. Did you see the outfits I got to wear? I don't think so. Did you see the gold fur coat? Well, I saw the gold fur coat. Did you see the silver leather, leather jacket with the blonde wig? No. Dude. Jesus Christ. I'm going to look at that in a second. Pretty, a later. pretty good. Now, look, we're going to do another one of these. Yeah, we are. We're going to answer some emails. But why is that bouncing up and down? Probably just because something on the ground is shaking, so it's just shaking the stand. Okay. Uh, we're going to do another one of these. Yeah. Um, we're going to answer some emails. Some emails indeed. But tell everybody where they can find you. Um, it's Jake Wolf on TikTok, Jake underscore Wolf on Instagram. Um, apologies ahead of time for those of you who are also already there. There will be Coachella pictures posted and videos for probably about the next two weeks. Dude. Just just a heads up. Just so you know. And I said I said this and I meant it on your Instagram. Yo, look at those pictures of you at Coachella. Some good photos. You are the coolest motherfucker that I know. Appreciate that. They're pretty... This, and mom's over, got a really good eye. Yo, there's a picture that she took during the weekend set of me that is so cool. I'll show it to you after this. I can't it's wait to see it. fucking awesome. It's like... It's perfect. She's got a great eye, dude. She's awesome, dude. Like... She could do when she comes to like, we'll talk about that later, but like when she comes to show, she can make those little mini movies just of like your weekends. Yes. And just make reels for you and oh, just highlights. Dude, that would be. And she's really good at that. Amazing. So whenever she comes on the road or we come on the road, she can make you clips. That would be crazy. The things that she puts together, I'm like, that is so cool. And yeah. It, it makes really it just look, I'm like, this looks super dope. It looks professional. Like, Fuck yeah. She's really, she does that all on her phone. What? <laughs> she does that all just in her hand. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, Shout I'm, out my girlfriend. Sorry. Big time. <sighs> Comedianjoshwolf.com for tour dates. This dude's coming with me to Madison, Wisconsin third, in May. Third week in May. Third week in May. Second week in May, I'm in Grand Rapids, Michigan. I know there's a lot of you guys who've been asking me when I come to Michigan. Hey, that's when. Hey, Show up. you know what else? We're keeping these short, but I've been getting a lot of messages that people want them longer. I always just assume people wanted their podcast shorter. Well, I mean, look, the longer they are, like if you got like a long drive to work in the morning, you just play one of these by the time it's over, you're at work. Right, right. So, I mean, I, I, think, I think in all honesty, depending on schedule, you know what I'm saying? Like... Some will be longer than others. How about that? I just think at, at some points in time, like in our schedules with work and travel and travel and work, yeah. we just don't have the time to do hour and a half podcasts. Well, but there are some days that we do. I think also <clears throat> we're going to have to, I'm just going to have to get a studio and I'm either going to have to, you're going to fly to me 
once a month. I'm going to fly to you once a month. Oh, uh, dude, the, the setup I'm about to have in this three-bedroom apartment is going to be nutty. Really? Oh, I'm I'm going to... The, acti- the activity room, which is where I'm going to do the pods <clears throat> and my streaming and... Activity room? Activity room. Activity room. Jesus. Oh, yeah. I, I can't some wait. Some twister to... and shit? No. No, probably not. But like some fun, ass, some like fun ass shit. Like what? Well, I'm going to have my stream set up in there. And like if we want to, we can bring the projector in there. I'll probably get like a mini TV. Just It's going to be like like a chill room, but it's going to be an activity room. Because like she can like do her social media and stuff in there. And then I can do my podcast. Are you going to be able to smoke marijuana in that room? I'm just going to go ahead and say, no, I'm not. Huh? For the people listening, no, I am not. But for the people watching, no, I am not. Does that make sense? I guess. <laughs> you know, well, if you just look up there, you can see how I do it. In this oh, that's moment. right. That's yeah, right. Yeah, you know, um, make it work. And then, uh, so but let, also I have patios. So let so. let us know about that. I'd be curious because we can always. I'd be curious. We can always go for a little longer. Yeah. Um, but thank you guys again. Yeah. For tuning in. Also, we're going to talk about this at some point as well. I got to run a merch store online for you or for us. We yes. just got to do it. We just got to do it. But, dude, I need a gra- – I, I haven't found a hay man that I like. McKay made one today. It's at work. I'll bring it in tomorrow. I'll send you a picture tomorrow. Guys, if there are any graphic designers out there, I'd love a hay man. Vibey, you know? Yeah. I will pay you if we use it. Facts. Send it to the heymanpod at gmail.com. That's no man. exclamation point. Don't ask That's that man question. with three A's. Yes, man with three A's. Heyman pod. Heyman. Heyman hey pod. All right, y'all. Thank you, Rest. Are you yourself. sure there's no exclamation point? We're not playing this game anymore. Now you're just doing this to fuck with me, and I know that, and I'm going to nip it right there. Got him. I got to figure out a new way to fuck with you. Thank you guys for stopping by. We really appreciate you. Uh, just like we said earlier, the, mean, love, listen, is, you're on the love is amazing. Um, so we really appreciate it. I don't find it. Um, no, uh, no, you won't. Yes, I will. Okay. <laughs> I'm winning. We'll talk to you guys later. Love y'all. Uh, <laughs> Say you love I them. Love you, <laughs>